Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To start a mail merge in Publisher, first create or open your new merge document. In this case, we're going to use an envelope that we've created. Of course, you could go to File and New and start from scratch and create anything you like. Maybe you want to do labels or postcards or what have you. But once you have created your document or selected it, then choose Mailings up in the ribbon. And then from Mailings, we're going to look on the Start group. From there, select the Mail Merge drop-down. And from the drop-down menu of choices, select Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. Give that a click. Now this will guide you through the process of creating a mail merge publication step by step. It will open the mail merge task pane that we see at the right side of the publication window. Here you read the information provided and answer the questions posed to you and click the next button at the bottom of the pane to continue through the mail merge process until you're finished. In the first screen on the mail merge pane you must create or define your recipient list. If you already have a list, such as a Microsoft Office address list or an Excel spreadsheet that you wish to use for the merge publication, then select the Use an Existing List option. If you choose this option, then you'll need to select the data source from the Select Data Source dialog box that appears when you click the Next option. Let's look at this. We'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the mail merge pane and we'll see our choices for create recipient list. We have use an existing list, select from Outlook contacts, or type a new list. We're going to go ahead and keep it on use an existing list. Then just click the next hyperlink, create or connect to a recipient list. Give that a click. There's the select data source dialog box. So you go ahead and navigate to your list to locate it, select it, and you could double click it if you want or you can select it as I did and then click open. Now note that you may need to select a specific table from a database or select a specific sheet from a workbook if you're using either an access database or Excel workbook as the data source. Go ahead and click OK. We just have that one sheet one that we're going to use on our Excel spreadsheet. Now after you've done that and selected the data source, then you'll see the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box appear. You can use this dialog box to filter and sort the recipient information. We'll examine how to use this dialog box in a separate lesson. However, once that's been done, you can click the OK button in the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box to close it and then return to the task pane. Now, if you wanted to use information from an Outlook Contacts folder versus using an existing list, then select the Option button for Select from Outlook Contacts in the Create Recipient List section in the Mail Merge Task pane. That would then launch Microsoft Outlook, and then in Outlook, you would need to select the Contacts folder that you want to use as the data source. Once you've selected the Contacts folder that you'll be using, you will again see the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box appear where you can filter and sort the data from the data source. Once again, we'll cover how to use that dialog box in a separate lesson as it's fairly extensive. Once you have finished using the dialog box, you just click OK and you'll return to the same spot we are now in the Mail Merge task pane. Now you could also create a new list of Mail Merge information to use by selecting the Type a New List option in the task pane and then clicking the Next Create or Connect to a Recipient List hyperlink. Publisher then prompts you to create a new list for the mail merge in the New Address List dialog box. We'll cover how to create and edit a data source on the fly in a separate lesson. However, once you've created and saved the new list, the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box will also appear. Now, as mentioned before, we use this dialog box to filter and sort the data used by the mail merge publication. 
that's going to be covered in a separate lesson. So once you're finished, you click OK, and in all three cases, we end up in the same spot here in the Mail Merge task pane. Now, in the next step of the Mail Merge wizard, you create the static or unchanging information that will appear directly in the Mail Merge publication. You also use the available merge fields and hyperlinks in the Mail Merge task pane to insert various fields of information from your data source into your publication at the desired positions. So let's take a look at this. Now, we are using an existing envelope and we have already entered some static information, like the logo, we inserted a picture here. Up here in this text box, we typed in our return address, that static information that's not going to change. But down over here is our recipient list. This is the information that is going to change, obviously, when we merge with our data source. Now to insert merge fields that represent data from your data source, you can click and drag the fields that appear within the prepare your publication list into the desired areas within your merge publication. Also note that when you have a text box selected on screen, you can simply click on the desired merge field name shown within the list to add it to the next available line within the selected text box. Note that this will also apply to any text containing shape as well as text boxes. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We'll highlight that information there. And from our existing list, we have our headers here. We have title, so we'll click on that to enter that. And then we'll click the space bar. And then the first name, space bar, and last name. Click enter on our keyboard. Then we'll enter the company. Enter on our keyboard, then we'll add in the address, enter again, city, space, state, space, and finally, the zip. So we've entered those merge fields there. Now you can also click the hyperlinks in the More Items section of the task pane to insert other blocks of merge fields into your publication. If you have a data source that contains a picture field, for example, you can click the picture field hyperlink in this section to open the insert picture field dialog box right there. And here you can select the name of the field that contains the file names of the pictures that you want to insert from the list shown, and then you would click the OK button to insert them into your merge publication. Note that if you simply need to insert some address information, you can click the Address Block hyperlink in the task pane to open the Insert Address Block dialog box. And here you can select what elements of the address to insert, and then click the OK button to insert the selected address elements, if you want to do it that way too. You could also click the Greeting Line hyperlink in the task pane to open the Insert Greeting Line dialog box. And here you can choose from several letter openings for your mail merge publication or greeting lines like Dear, Dear Sir or Madam, To Whom It May Concern, and so forth. Now, you can preview the merge results. To do this, just click the arrow buttons that are in the Preview Results group. Up here, we'll find that in the preview results group on the mailings tab within the ribbon. Now to do this we want to make sure that our preview results are activated. So we would click that. See when we click that we see that we are previewing the results. So then we can use the arrows here to go to the next record and preview the next one and the next one. Now you also have first record, last record buttons, or you can just type in a record number into that text box there as well. Now, after previewing that, when you have previewed the results, you can click the Next Create Merged Publications hyperlink at the bottom of the Mail Merge task pane to continue. Let's go ahead and scroll down, Create Merged Publications. In the last screen of the step-by-step -step Mail Merge Wizard, you can select the desired printing options for the merge publication in the Create Merged 
Publications section and also prepare follow-up materials for your mailing. To print the Mail Merge publication, just click the Print button at the top of the Mail Merge task pane to open the print window within the Backstage view. Click Print. That will open the Backstage view. We see here that we have our print options. And here you can set your options, which also includes selecting the range of records in the data source to print. You will also see a print preview of the merge publication that you can review at the far right section of the Backstage view. When you're ready to print the publication, click the Print button to print the selected records. The print button is located right up here in the upper left hand corner. Let's go back to mailings here. If you wish to make individual changes to different items in the merge results set, you can click the Merge to a New Publication hyperlink in the Mail Merge task pane. Right there. This will immediately create a new publication that contains the merge results. This is the output publication that is often created during the merge process. In the new publication window that appears, you can make changes to the individual items in the results set if you wish. You can then print the new output publication along with any individual editing changes that you've made in order to complete the merge. You can also add the merged pages as separate output that you can attach to the end of an existing publication. To do this, click the Add to Existing Publication hyperlink in the Mail Merge pane. Go back to Mailings. Let's return to the original publication, and then we'll see the Add to Existing Publication link right here. Give that a click. That will open the Open Publication window that we see here, where you can select the existing publication to which you wish to append the results set. Go ahead and close that out for now. In the Prepare to Follow Up on this mailing section, down here, you can click the Print Recipient List hyperlink to print a copy of the data source. This is very useful as a double check for mailings that you may send to ensure that the recipients received the mailing. You can also click the Save a Shortcut to Recipient List hyperlink to create and save a shortcut to the recipient list used for the mail merge. You could also click the Export Recipient List to a New File hyperlink to export the recipient list as a new data source file that you can use. So I could click that and save it to wherever I like. But when you've finished with your mail merge, you can close the mail merge task pane by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner of the mail merge task pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.